the 2017 Acura NSX. I can't wait to start seeing more of these things on the road. I think they're beautiful. I remember when this thing was first unveiled a couple years ago as a concept car. I really hoped that it was going to come true and uh, obviously it did and holy cow is this thing absolutely beautiful and uh, you guys can see for the visual customization we made this thing a while ago back in Byron Bay earlier in the normal Forza Horizon series and uh, we went with kind of this it's not white it's a little bit of an off-white with the carbon fiber accents and the mirrors, the hood, the wheels. I think it's absolutely beautiful, man. What a good looking car. It's got the white and black interior. I guess it's a little bit more like a, it's like a polished silver instead of a white, but uh, man, this thing looks good. All right, so let's hear it start up. Nice, got a little bit of a different tone to it than most of the cars that we're used to. So we're gonna see how this thing can perform out here in the snow, and uh, I've got one question. Can it drift though? Finish and win the race and earn 175,000 skill points. Let's see what we can do here. So we're gonna go ahead and go with, um, what do we have for our current car? Modern supercars, why not? Looks good to me. But uh, yeah, the reason why we went with the NSX here is just because we haven't seen it in a while and I really like the car, but also, I mean, it's a small, quick, fast car that's gonna be able to it's going to be able to keep those those multipliers going. Like at the end of our last episode here on Blizzard Mountain, we failed getting 250k points with the um, the G wagon, just because it wasn't it wasn't quick enough. You know what I mean? You couldn't get to the next place fast enough to keep those combos going and stuff. So uh, a lot of the challenges we have left have to do with drifting and with getting high skill chains, which also involves a lot of drifting. So we're going to see what we could do here. Let's get it, guys. All right, so. 175k. It's gonna be a point to point race. I hope we didn't hit him too hard there at the start. See, we're getting awesome drifts, awesome drafts, awesome everything. We're just awesome out here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, all right, we're gonna have to retry that one. I think that we ran into somebody at the start anyway. Holy cow, this is gonna be quite the race. I forgot about this one with that really long jump in the middle of it. My goodness, this thing's so quick compared to everything else we're working with right now. There we go, that's what we want. Just get out in front early. Got kind of messed up right there. That Audi R8 cut us off a bit. We're gonna run into him upon landing. Nope. We're good. Dude, this thing is just, it's so quick. It, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like a cat. It's weird. It's so light and just, oh, it's awesome, dude. No, got it. All right, 57,000, 37% of the way through. I think for this, we're probably gonna pretty much have to keep a skill chain going the entire time. I think we have to come back at it because I was, I was racing kind of scared. I was racing to make sure we kept it. And I think we're just gonna have to keep it the whole way. We're gonna have to race aggressive and make sure that we're always getting that next point. Oh, what the heck? For real? I even think we missed that. It's all right. So we're gonna go, I think we're gonna have to keep a skill chain the entire time. I honestly, that's, I think that's what's gonna be here. So we're just, we are gonna have to keep pedal to the metal the entire time. Just throw this thing all over the place and keep it going. That's what we're gonna do. That's gonna be my goal here. And somehow we're gonna have to get lucky and keep the skill chain for the entire time. We are so, maybe we need to spend a little bit more time back here and get some drafting bonuses. I don't know. There's not really a, a right answer here because these jumps at the start make it difficult. The AI doesn't hit the jumps very well, which makes it hard to keep your bonus going. Nice, we're getting kangaroos and all kinds of stuff through here. How about an airborne pass? Not quite. 
I just stole my thunder there. We're good. Get off me, bro! Oh. oh my gosh, this is so hard. I just want to get past this stupid R8, man. That R8 all over our backside right there was not helping anything. It was awful knowing he was behind us and trying to pass us and running into us and all kinds of stuff like that. These guys have no shame, man. They just run into you. Doing everything they can to mess up your style. We're good so far. We weren't in first place at this position last time. So I'll take it. Some little drift action. Jump over. Get some wreckage. Some more jumping. Some more wreckage. Alright, we're at about 100k here. Drift tap? Oh no. We can't miss the stupid checkpoint, dude. 111k, but we have a, uh, a big lead here, so hopefully that's gonna help us out. That corner, there's no way to keep the skill chain going. I'm sorry. There's, n like, we just, we can't expect to keep it going through that corner. So we just have to get the 50,000 here in the back 40% of the race. That's just what we're gonna have to count on here. So I'm gonna try my best. Gotta get her done and get it done in style, baby. Come through here. Shoot, this is a big area with nothing. Yes! Got the plant. Got a little drift action. Get us together this fence. Make sure we get the checkpoint. Don't wanna miss the checkpoints. Some air. Some more wreckage. Drifting, why not? Dude, we're so close. I think we got it. We don't have it. We're very, very close. There's somebody close behind us. Though. Okay, we've got it. We've got it. We've got it. Just finish the race. We got it, baby! Oh my gosh! Holy cow, dude. That was something else. Tell me we got it. Bam! We got it, baby! I'm pretty sure we had close to 200k skill points there. All right, so, I mean, that's the difficulty we're gonna start working with here. You had to have two long skill chains to be able to complete that. I think we chose a good vehicle for it. All right, let's try this drift zone here. 30k points. I think we could potentially do it. Drift zones definitely aren't my specialty. But I'm gonna try. All right, so we come in here, we just... It's an S-curve, it's just right and left, or left and right, depending on which way you're coming from. So we're gonna come in with a bit more speed, not a lot of speed, but a bit more speed. Let's see what we can do. 30K points isn't too bad. Well. We got 20k on our first try. Didn't quite finish it, ran into this light pole. All right, I think we can do with maybe a little, a tiny bit more speed for this first section. Let's try it again. Come back this way, sorry Frosty. The drift zones just, they really aren't my thing though. Like I, I'm not very good at them. If I'm being completely honest. Yes! We got it! Woo! Oh my gosh! I was nervous we were gonna get to the, the finale thing! The last 
Checkpoint. Oh my gosh, we almost missed it. If we would have actually got the 30k and then missed the final checkpoint and it would have reset us and not counted, I would have been so upset. Holy cow. This one has a 35,000 drift score. I don't know if I'm feeling that. Let's try this one up here. Snow Forest Descent. Where are we going? Are we heading the right direction? We're going complete opposite. All right, so we're gonna head up this mountain a little bit. We're gonna try to get to Snow Forest Descent. It's, um, let's try to max this thing out. Looks like we only got one star in this race before, so we're really gonna have our work cut out for us. Actually, we're not gonna do that one. It tells you get three ultimate clean racing skills, and I think we're gonna be better off running in something a lot slower for that because I remember last time we tried to get that, we were in cars that ended the race so quickly it didn't give us enough time to be able to, to, to get the ultimate clean racing skills, you know what I mean? Because those I think those are mainly based on time. So we're going to come back in just an old junker that barely rolls and we're going to see if we can, uh, can win that one there. But we're going to try this one. It's a uh, Devil's Corners Hill Climb. And uh, 100k points is what we're looking for here. 100,000 points is what we're gonna be looking for here. So let's see what we can do, guys. The problem is we're gonna be going uphill. So usually that makes it a little bit harder to keep the chains rolling. Like who, who wants to drift uphill over downhill, you know what I mean? But. We may be able to keep it rolling. These roads are nice and sloshy. They're sloshy so we can keep those, those chains going. Nice. Oh my gosh, 24K to start. That's not what I wanted though. We were just kind of getting in our groove and we were going to be behind these guys to start throwing together some drafting bonuses and such. Do some side swipes there. Let's go. Alright, we're in seventh right now. Shoot. We have to worry about running this race too. Oh no. Alright, I think we're going to have to restart after that one. Shoot, this one's going to be difficult. It looks like it's gonna be hard to just win the race, period. Let alone to get the 100K. So maybe we should focus on winning and, and the 100K will just kind of come to us. Yeah, I mean, this race is, it's pretty prone to getting you skill points. It's not like it, it makes it hard to get skill points. Oh my gosh, I wasn't paying attention to the checkpoints. I think the number one thing we're gonna have to do is just focus on winning this race. These guys are killing us in the actual racing portion of it. Even if we can get 100K skill points, it's not gonna help us if we can't win. I'm just so happy we're going back and doing all of these because, I mean, I've, I've wanted to complete them. They're just so hard. And it's nice to have a, a fun little challenge here. So we are going to focus entirely on our positioning and we're going to try to get into first place. We're going to get a skill chain along the way just because of how this track's built. So as long as we can just manage it, we don't have to focus on it. We don't have to be going for the wall taps and all the other crazy stuff. See, we're just we're getting drafting right now. Let's get a show off for the drift pass. Yes! There we go. Alright. See, there's a big difference there. And we're still getting our our multiplier up. Nice. And it's so much easier to keep it when we're up here. Look at this, man. We're just gliding. This is... Oh, don't lose it there. Nice. Okay. Looking good. Some wreckage. Get those multipliers up. Oh, dude, we've almost got it here. These guys are right in our butt, though. It's making me nervous. Breathe, trap, breathe. 78,000. 30% of the race left. Okay. Got 80% of this left. 
And we're gonna see what we can do here. Watch out for that black ice. We're getting wreckage for hitting the cones. I love it. Okay. Some air here. A little more wreckage. Now we just, we really need to go for the multipliers. Oh, we're almost there. If we can get up to 10K. Give me this, oh, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. 8,700 8, times 2.6, we got it. I'm pretty sure we got it, it's gonna be close. But I'm pretty sure we got it. Yes, we got it. Oh my gosh, drop my controller. Holy cow, I couldn't remember exactly where we were at. We were, blah, 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 where we were at after that first one. But we got it, boys. Holy cow, that one was challenging. Whew. All right, so good stuff, guys. I'm gonna see you all in our next episode. Things are going well. So far, we're at 124 out of 160 stars here on Blizzard Mountain. We've got quite a few left to go, but um, we're in a good, uh, a good spot here. So I'm gonna see you guys later. Peace out.